Last year, Maine lobstermen harvested about 96 million pounds of lobster. Lobster made up 48% of the state's total fisheries last year. The haul brought in about $400 million to the state. And with the average lobster weighing about a pound and a half, roughly 60 million lobsters were caught and brought to market on Maine shores in 2020. That's about one for every person who lives in the three West Coast states. The point is, Maine's lobster fishery is so expansive and such a staple of the state's culture that it can be easy to overlook the importance of treating these creatures humanely. Across the Atlantic, the nervous systems of lobsters and other invertebrates are at the center of a bill that is making its way through Parliament. New Center Maine's David Guildford spoke with the UK's top researcher on the bill, as well as people here with a vested interest in Maine's signature seafood. We want this bill to stand the test of time. When Great Britain left the European Union, it also left the EU's animal welfare laws. The government didn't like that, so they pledged to introduce new legislation. Dr. Jonathan Birch led a team of researchers who re-examined 300 studies. They came back last Friday with some new animals to add to the list of what is considered sentient in a new animal welfare bill. What about invertebrates? So-called sophisticated invertebrates like the octopus, crab, and lobster. Birch watched experiments he says showed lobsters can act like a conscious animal. Now they're not just reflex creatures, they respond in flexible, sophisticated ways to injury into noxious stimuli in, in similar ways to vertebrates. If passed, the bill will force the UK government to treat these animals with a higher level of care, though that is up for interpretation. So, too, is what exactly sentient means. It's kind of a, a, a slippery slope if you start um, making this assumption that, you know, lobsters are uh, experiencing joy uh, or pain. Dr. Robert Stenick from UMaine has studied lobsters for nearly 40 years. He says just about any animal we kill for food is not perfectly calm moments before the end, but he has seen no evidence that lobsters can experience emotions. By some definitions, uh, any reaction to stimulus is, uh, is part of being sentient. And this law fundamentally is about whether lobsters are sentient. And I'm suggesting that all animals are sentient uh, by that definition. I feel great. Meanwhile, feel Charlotte Gill is taking a victory lap. The, the owner of Charlotte's legendary lobster pound in Southwest Harbor has always believed lobsters experience stress before being boiled. Oh my God, lobster being 20 years. <laughs> In 2018, she introduced THC, marijuana's active ingredient, to her crustaceans, believing it calms them. She feels vindicated by this new bill in England. You at least have the responsibility to make it better, to try to make it the most compassionate process possible. So, do lobsters feel pain? Like with most scientific research, it's not a clear yes or no. Both Birch and Stenick suggest consumers looking to cook the most humane lobster dinner kill the animal quickly before putting it into the boiling water. Uh, cut them longitudinally, um, really from, from their, their carapace um, to their rostrum, to their that pointy nose part, uh, that would end their life immediately. David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Across the Atlantic, the nervous systems of lobsters and other invertebrates are at the center of a bill working its way through Parliament. It's worth noting that uh, whether or not lobsters are sentient animals, they live the most free-range lives of just about any animal we eat, spending seven to ten years before feeding and, ro of feeding and roaming on the bottom of the ocean before wandering into a trap.